excited to share this recipe with you. As some of my friends know, I have a bit of a phobia with baking, flour, yeast. I don't quite understand how it all mingles together. So this recipe is going to work really well for anyone because if I can bake, then you can bake for sure. Now what I'm going to use is oats. As you can see, these are actually whole oat groats, it's not rolled oats. And what we're going to do with these oats is we're going to sprout them, or at least initialize the sprouting process. As you'll discover, oat groats actually don't sprout, so you won't see a little tail grow out of them. But they will begin an enzymatic action that will help eliminate phytic acid from the seeds. And this will make the bread really tasty and really digestible. So what I'm going to do to make two loaves of bread about, probably about this size, so it's enough for two people for a few days, is I'm going to put four cups of oats to soak. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to add water. Now these guys are going to rest overnight and in the morning we'll give them a rinse and I'll just show you quickly how to rinse them. What I'm going to do is actually make two separate loaves. One's going to be simple and another one can be a sweet version. We use dates and some seeds and make it more like a cake. See you tomorrow morning. I've placed the groats in the sieve to make it really easy to drain and to rinse. You don't want the seeds um, sitting stagnantly in anything, otherwise they can create some mold. Blech. So I'm going to show you how do I rinse these. It's really straightforward. I think it's from IKEA but um, basically it allows the water to drip down. If you are concerned with the mold, if you live in a basement suite or you know you just feel uncomfortable with just letting them sit, you could soak them with some food grade hydrogen peroxide or even put it in a little spray bottle and just spray them lightly each day, however you feel. I'm gonna show you now how I blend them up. for around two hours at 100 degrees Celsius. So for the sweet one, I put about half a cup of raisins in the blender with some water and cinnamon powder, blended that up, and then added the oat groats to that, blended it, basically same procedure as the other one. That's it, bye again. Someone is going for the bun before it's even cooled down. Is it really good or are you just saying it's good? It's really good. <laughs> Put it down, you filthy hands. <laughs>